CareCap Connections, a community-based chemotherapy support project for America. We are special. Please take a few moments to learn what we do for women and children in need. Your help is necessary. The following is a presentation of KARK Television 4, Little Rock, Arkansas, provided by permission. From the Pace Concert Hall of the Windsong Performing Arts Center in North Little Rock, this is the 30th Annual KARK Community Service Awards. Presented in conjunction with St. Vincent Health System, the Department of Health and Human Services Division of Volunteerism, and the Office of the Governor, honoring outstanding volunteers from all over Arkansas for service to their communities. It seems more and more people are being diagnosed with cancer. Most undergo chemotherapy treatments, which usually results in hair loss. It's the women and young girls who have the greatest emotional problems with losing their hair, and some of them are so self-conscious that they won't even leave the house. A wig isn't always the answer. But there's a nonprofit cottage industry based in Fairfield Bay that's addressing that need. Its founder knows how to get the most from her volunteers and maybe most importantly, her budget. And she is our next honoree. When the bell rings, that means that one care cap has been finished. It's 9 a.m. and retired Army Chaplain Ingram Phillips arrives at St. Francis of Assisi Church in Fairfield Bay with a trailer full of sewing machines and fabric and a day of work begins making these care caps. My sister had cancer and, and I was making uh, caps for her and that I'd make a couple of extra when she'd go to chemotherapy and so uh, they went with her to chemo and were given away and then she went down to MD Anderson and so I made more and some of these lovely ladies uh, said that they would help me uh, to sew and so that's how we, how we got started. Mary says she didn't choose the Care Cap Connection project it shows her. I've never seen a, any kind of a project that grew as fast as this project has and just multiplied. Mary has organized 13 care cap groups, including one in Louisiana, two in San Antonio, Texas, one in San Francisco, and in Arkansas at Fairfield Bay, Greenbrier, Mountain Home, Heber Springs, Little Rock Air Force Base, and the Pine Bluff Women's Unit of the Department of Community Corrections. How has she made it work? Her vitality and her kindness and instruction, instructing people on how to put the caps together and her patience with all of us. And then her, that it just seemed like it was the thing that had to be done, that there was a, a, a higher calling for it. Care caps are distributed free of charge through hospitals, including Arkansas Children's Hospital, St. Jude's, Baptist Health, and Arkansas Department of Health Hospice, as well as MD Anderson, Christus Health, and Ronald McDonald House. One of the volunteers is a cancer patient herself and moved to Fairfield Bay from the Mississippi Gulf Coast after Katrina devastated the area. It was so nice when we came up here and I saw what the people were doing with the care caps. I would have loved to have had some at the beginning because it was really it was really hard not to be able to to really go out in public and feel comfortable. Mary and her volunteers have made life more comfortable for about 1500 patients with thousands more yet to be served. It's an ongoing project. It just it just grows and grows. Ladies and gentlemen, Mary L. Phillips of Fairfield Bay. Mrs. Phillips, first of all, congratulations, and KRK Force General Manager Rick Regala is here to present you with your award on behalf of the Landers Brothers Auto Group and to donate in your honor $500 to Volunteer America 7076 because you care. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I'd like to thank uh, KARK, the Governor, the Department of Volunteerism, St. Vincent's Health System, and Lee Berry for nominating me. I never thought when I made that first cap for my sister, and I kept making caps for her to give away uh, in her chemotherapy sessions, that this would become what it is. 
we now have over 400 volunteers who have made 2,500 caps that have been given away here in Arkansas and major medical centers and in neighboring states. This is funded by donations and it's manned by a wonderful group of volunteers and I would like to recognize them. Could you please stand up if you're one of my volunteers? I know I've got a lot of you out here. Thank you. They are just such wonderful support. And last, I'd like to give my special thanks to the Care Caps uh, shipping department, my husband and partner, Ingram Phillips. <laughs> Good stuff. Care caps are distributed free of charge to individuals through America's Cancer Centers. Thousands have been made in local community teams for giveaway. We need your help to continue our work. Volunteers and financial backing are needed every day. The project fits health and human services categories and benefits women and children undergoing chemotherapy without regard for race, religion, economic, or social status. It is solely funded by donations and grants. No officers, board members, or volunteers are paid. CareCap Connections is a qualified public charity under the Internal Revenue Code 501c3 and can be contacted at Ingram & Mary Phillips, 103 Tanglewood Circle, Fairfield Bay, Arkansas, 72088 and at 501-884-3046.